Okay, let's see now. How can we estimate Q? Okay, you know uh, what goes in must e be equal with what goes out. So, in this case, this is Q in and plus Q out is, is equals to Q A plus Q B. Right? So, because from this junction, it goes into two direction, which is A and B. So since 1.2 is what coming uh, is the flow coming in, so QA and QB must also be equals to 1.2. So in this case, you can assume A and B. So it depends on you. Okay, so in this case, let me try. For the first one is QA as 0 0.5 and QB is 0 0.7. So when you add up these two, it will become 1.2. Right? Understand? Okay, let's see now the second one, QC and D. Okay, where is C and where is D? Okay. Okay, C is here. This is C. And where is D? Okay. So for this case, where is the node? So the node is here, the junction. So what comes in? What comes in is flow from A. Right? So, this one, A is already determined as 0 0.5. Right? So, QD plus QC must be equal to 0 0.5. Right? So, this is what you have. So let's try QC as 0 0.1 and QD is 0 0.4. Okay? Okay, let's see for the third equation. So it involves D and F. Let's see, where is D and F? So it's here. D, sorry, D, where is D? And F, here, D and F. Mm, so, D was, we decided just now that we was, a D, a QD was 0 0.4. So, 0 0.4, here, it goes here, what, uh, the in, uh, from the uh, inflow from QD, uh, and with the note here, it will go into two direction, which is 0 0.3 is given and 2F. So, you know that QD is equals to 0 0.3 plus QF. Okay? So, uh, in other words, it also... Can be written as this value, uh, this equation, QD minus Q3 is equals to QF, okay? Or QD minus QF is equals to 0 0.3. So here, since you you decided before that QD is equals to 0 0.3 is 0 0.4, so QF must be 0 0.1, okay? Okay, next, let's see QB and QC. So this is QB and QC. Where is QB? Where is QC? Okay, this is B and this is C. Okay. So QB and QC, we decide that the node is here. The inflow from QB plus QC is equals to the outflow of QE and 0 0.3, which is given, right? So, QB plus QC, this is the inflow, 
into this node is equals to the outflow which is QE N plus 0 0.3 okay so you've decided before that uh, QB is 0 0.7 right from the first one here so QC have you decided QC before? Yes, you decide QC as 0 0.1 and then QE. Do you have QE before? No. We haven't dealt with Q in E pipe. But you have 1 as 0 0.3. It's given here. Yeah. So from here you can assume QE as 0 0.5 so all these are from this this is equation 4 so the final one which part that we haven't covered okay so this part is E and F okay this part and also this part so this is the knot so immediately you'll know that QE plus QF which is the inflow is equals to 0 0.6 okay so earlier you've decided that QE was 0 0.5 okay. okay let's just write this as 0 0.5 okay this is 0 0.5 and then you don't know QF, but you know that the outflow must be 0 0.6. So in this case, QF will be 0 0.1. Okay, so all this assumption is given in this table. Okay, where you can estimate Q. Alright, so the next one is for you to determine the direction of the flow. Okay, these are only the these are only the value okay but it's also very important that you decide the direction so how to determine the direction so it's based on the loop okay as i told you before if it's clockwise it is positive but if it's anti-clockwise it is negative okay so let, let's erase this one. Okay, in this case, tell me what should be the direction for QA. Let's see together. Okay, QA. Since QA is in this direction is clockwise so it it is positive so here we can put as 0 0.5 how about qb where is qb so this is qb is qb positive or negative so qb is negative Okay, because it is anti-clockwise, so it's anti-clockwise, yeah, for QB. So, we have 0 point, negative 0 point 0.7. How about QC? So, QC is clockwise, so it is 0 point 0.1. Okay, so let's see here, we are in the loop 2 now. QD first. Let's see QD. So QD is in the clockwise direction. So QD is positive. So QD was 0 0.4. How about F? F also in the clockwise direction. So it's positive. So F is 0 0.1. How about E? So E is flowing in this direction which is anti-clockwise. So, E, sh e should be negative 0 
Okay, and finally you have QC. QC is also moving anti-clockwise. So then it should be negative 0 0.1. Okay. Okay, um, uh, let's continue in the next video. See you.